I'd like to call a friend of mine, a mentor of mine, Dr. Jean Hildebrand, to the front. Dr. Hildebrand has uh, been like a second father to me. He uh, was uh, my camp doctor when I was a, when I was a young man uh, going to youth camp in Michigan. And he was even a camp doctor as I was a counselor at that very same camp, always giving good advice and care. And then when his son, who is now a family physician, and I uh, moved to Loma Linda University, he made sure that we had a home to live in. And so, Dr. Hildebrand, you have been, you have been a medical missionary for longer than I've been alive. Uh, tell us, where have you been uh, throughout your life as a medical missionary? Well, uh, after we left Loma Linda and I uh, took some residency training, we went to Newfoundland. I don't know if anybody knows where that is. <laughs> but it's the newest province of Canada. And uh, when we first got there, uh, nobody would come to us because they knew we came from California. And if a doctor from California came to Newfoundland, they got to have something wrong with their head. <laughs> <laughs> now, where did you go after Newfoundland? Well, first we stayed there then long enough that they recognized we weren't crazy. <laughs> and I got to the point where I was delivering 300 babies a year, and I was doing family practice. And uh, then after Newfoundland, uh, because I needed some rest after 300 babies a year, I, uh, <laughs> we went to Libya, North Africa, and I, you all know about Libya and Gaddafi, and he used to bring his, pay, his soldiers into us in Libya. And then when we finished our tour there, we went to northern Michigan, where I spent 20 years, and then Loma Linda, where I taught for a while, then Alaska, <laughs> Palau, and many other places. I had the privilege of uh, being in the south uh, Western Pacific with Dr. Hildebrand. In fact, it was, it was um, your son, Dr. Steve Hildebrand, who first uh, encouraged me to go to Guam and work with the Seventh Day Adventist Medical Group there, where I first met Dr. Tay M, and uh, he was also working there for six years. So now, um, how old are you, Dr. Hildebrand, if I may be so bold? <laughs> 84. 84. Now, you've been through a lot of life. You've seen a lot of heartache. You've seen uh, uh, a lot of patients who've struggled in many ways. Now you're getting up in years, aren't you? Yes. And, uh, and you yourself are kind of going through some challenges, aren't you? Yep. Tell us about that. Well, <laughs> I, uh, one time when I was up in Alaska working, and uh, I did a routine blood test once in a while, and the pathologist from uh, down south called me and said, your blood test shows you've got leukemia. So... Uh, paid no attention to it because it wasn't doing anything to me. <laughs> <laughs> this man has more energy than I ever had. <laughs> so he's. <laughs> That's about 10 years ago. And now I, uh, it's starting to take effect, but uh, the doctor here has me down to where my blood test is quite good. So Not, not only do you have the leukemia, but. Um, I remember you, you have six acres of avocados that you work and, and you're extremely active individual, but you've been having struggles with, uh, with your spine and pain. Tell us about that. Well, the uh, reason I got the cane now, every year we go to visit my uh, son in northern Michigan. Uh, I'm not sure why the uh, problems are there, but they, three years ago uh, somebody turned uh, left in front of us, and we rolled the car. Well, that gave us a few problems. The next year, uh, <laughs> I went there. I mean, I don't know why this always happens in Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> I got a gallbladder attack, and I never had any problems with it before. Well, that got taken care of. And then this year when I went, uh, I thought everything was fine, except the last day driving there, 
I was taking my truck there because I wanted to leave with my son. Uh, I got a severe back pain. And uh, when he took me, he was working in the emergency room, and he took me right in and got x-rays, and I had a collapsed vertebra, which they got me lined up with, and they squirt some stuff in there that looks like cement. <laughs> and I'm, that was just last month. Doctor speak. <laughs> <laughs> that was last month, and so I, I'm still using the cane. So we're dealing with situations here where somebody who's served God all your life, and now you're having some challenges. How does that affect your spiritual walk with God? Well, uh, I feel that, you know, I've lived long enough already. <laughs> and uh, I have no real fears of the future, and I'm happy, and the Lord has taken care of us very well. Uh, we're not rich, but we uh, do eat every day, and uh, I hope that I can see him come soon. And you have a wonderful family that loves you very much. What more could a person ask for? And thank you, Dr. Hildebrandt. We truly do have this blessed hope.